Raja Band for fighthype.com with me. I've got Artif Daniel, Dr. Hitman. Uh, Artif, firstly, how are we doing? Um, it's been a while since I've spoken to you. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? So, um, good to catch up on a big card tonight here in Sheffield. Today we saw an emphatic fight, uh, a dramatic fight, uh, and potentially a damaging fight for Kel Brook. Uh, and victorious one for obviously Errol Spence. Um, without doubt, the fight of the year so far. Uh, I'll probably put, I'll still put the one that we met in New York in January. Bro uh, Jack and Miguel. I think that's probably number one at the moment for me. Uh, possibly Joshua Klitschko as well and stuff. But no, great fight, Brooklyn Spence. Um, I think it uh, started off a bit cagey at first. I think we were both kind of feeling each other out first. Um, and then it caught on fire. And, um, you know, it was a very good fight. And uh, I think Errol showed tonight uh, how good he really was. I think, I think, I think the hardcore boxing fans knew and understood how good Errol Spence was but I think especially in the UK I think I don't think there's there were people a lot you know sort of who were questioning how good he actually was and I think he showed how good he really is tonight so uh, you know he, he's the first person to put Brooke down uh, and he lived up to his hashtag of man down so um, and he stopped he stopped Kel Brook emphatically. Uh, to be honest the fight went how I predicted uh, I knew it was gonna catch up uh, Kel Errol's bodywork, you know, caught up to Kel, and that's what took, you know, the sap out of him. Um, he done very, very well. You talk about how the body shot took the sap out of him, but when I spoke to Dominic Ingle a few moments ago, Dominic Ingle said to me that every time Kel came to the corner, I kept asking him about were those, bo were those body punches hurting, and Kel was like, no, they're fine. And Dominic said, you know, we train our fighters and their bodies to an extent where they can take those punches. But do you think, and there was a lot of questions before the fight that, the weight could become an issue. Was yeah, that, 100%, was that, was that significant tonight? Yeah, I, 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 but, and, but nobody should take that away from Errol Spence's victory. I don't want anyone to say, oh, Carroll's weight drained and Errol's beat. No, that's not true. Because Carroll, Carroll even showed in there how strong he, you know, he, he, he is at 147. He's still, he's, he can still make over. But biologically speaking, it, of course, there'll be an element of that. You're gonna get, you're gonna get some, uh, you're gonna get an element of weakness. And in the later rounds, you won't have that same strength that you have. So uh, you know, without doubt, that that you know that did take its toll. And Errol's Errol's body work definitely definitely made an impact because that's what he was doing every time they came in close. Errol was making sure he'd, he'd back him up onto the ropes with his jab, follow up from his with his you know for his backhand going under, and he kept throwing you know twos and threes, sometimes fours in the body. And that definitely took, took, took um, you know, uh, energy away from uh, Kel, there's no doubt about it. And that's, that's what led to the stoppage. You know, you've got to understand about Errol Spence. He's not a one-punch finisher. You know, it's, it's cumulative punishment. And, you know, when, you, when you're having that effect on the, on the body, taking that, you know, on the body, it adds, it adds, and it, you know, when you go into the later rounds, that's when you start feeling it. You're putting those punches into the bank, as it were. Looks like the biggest fight in the welterweight division that can be made now is Keith one time Thurman uh, and he did he put a tweet out just now which I saw and he said uh, you know Errol come get it it's, it's one time's chance now yeah I think as the 147 map stands as it is at the moment um, you know obviously people like Amir Khan haven't, haven't fought and so forth on the 147 but as it as it stands right now yeah then you'd, you'd, probably, you'd, you'd have to agree that's that's the biggest fight at the moment uh, Errol Spensky Thurman uh, but you know you've got obviously you've still got Manny Pacquiao there, you know Amir Khan you can't rule him out, um, you know so you've, you've yeah, Danny Garcia just took the one loss. So there's still some big names. Even Kel Brooks is you know you, you know. You, you do you, do you see Kel now staying at 147? Or do you see well, he him? said it himself. He said it himself. And the thing is, to be honest, the biggest money fights are at 147 for Kel. Mm. If he moves up to 54, who's he gonna fight that could potentially uh, generate that much money? Um, you know, he's not really gonna, you know, so in terms of him, in terms of you know, legacy, in terms of, you know, the check, you know, 147 is a division, it's the biggest division really. So, he said he could make it, uh, he's, he's got a very good um, uh, nutritionist that he has, he's, he stays very close to him, so he can make the weight, and it's just about, you know, putting things together and get, getting those fights made. So the 147 division is booming at the moment. I think it's the best division in boxing at the moment, really, without a doubt. So there's some great fights to be made. I know you've just just finishing off with yourself. I know you fought uh, last week on Friday night. Uh, and you had Derek James, who's a trainer of Errol 
Spence in your corner, yes. six rounds in the bank, won all six rounds comfortably, yes. onwards and upwards. As yeah, saying. definitely. I was like, uh, you know, appreciated Derek helping me out. He's always, he also helped me out during the fight week with pads and going through some, uh, you know, techniques. work and yeah, techniques. That's right. So, and I uh, actually was working with those techniques that you mentioned in the fight and stuff. So, which was uh, blessing. Is you know, it's um, you know that was an honour. So, I was uh, appreciated Derek, one, you know, friend of mine, to help me in the corner and stuff. So, yeah, good six rounds, good win against a, a, a tough journeyman when it comes to fight and stuff. He tried to make things difficult. Um, got complacent a few times, uh, you know, got caught, but that's boxing. But the main thing is I won, I won six rounds. And to be honest, I could have stepped it up in the fifth and sixth rounds. I could have stopped him. Uh, but again, I suppose that comes with experience. Uh, it was my first official six rounder. So, um, you know, hopefully as I just keep, you know, pushing along, I've got the momentum on my side now, so, um, you know, hopefully those stoppages will come. The main thing is, as you know, people like Derek James and Eddie Mustafa and others have said to me as well, they said, don't, you know, don't worry, don't look, don't look for those stoppages, you know, they'll come, the stoppage will present itself. So I'm going to keep working hard in the gym, uh, keep listening to my team, and, uh, you know, hopefully onwards and upwards. When do you plan to kind of be out again now? Uh, we've got, obviously, we've got Ramadan now, that's just commenced from today, uh, so obviously, uh, yeah, that'll be finishing end of June. Uh, I may squeeze in about end of July possibly, if not then September uh, and hopefully, God willing, uh, you know, things go right. I'm looking at my US debut at the end of the year. By, you know, by the end of the year I'm looking at my uh, fight in the Floyd States. and McGregor and Descartes, eh? Hey, possibly, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Daniel, as always my man, pleasure speaking to you. Appreciate uh, it. Apologies for getting back to you very late as well. As uh, you know, it's, it's a fight hey, night and it's hectic, crazy. Man. It's been hectic, no, it's good. But, Arthur you know, Daniel for fighthype.com, thank you very much. Keep watching fight hype.